I am Dr. Nishant Kathare. I am a consultant urologist at uh, Terna Hospital and Research Center in Nehru, Mumbai. So, in Terna Hospital, we are doing fairly advanced uro-onco surgery and other procedures. So, wanted to share with you an experience of a very difficult case, a very tricky case. Uh, and uh, wanted to inform the rest of Nayumbai and everywhere else that we are doing very advanced surgeries for the benefit of the patient at very affordable prices. So this patient, uh, Lakshman Bhavad, na, he is a 71 years old guy. He came to us with vague complaints of abdominal pain. On investigation, he was found to have bilateral renal tumors. Now the thing is, uh, he had gone to several other onco surgeons and uh, visited a few of the urologists as well. And he was advised nephrectomies for this. If you see the images of this patient, uh, you will find he, there is a six centimeter tumor in the left kidney and another pelvic tumor on the right kidney. He is an elderly gentleman. These tumors are centrally located. The left side tumor is absolutely in the middle of the kidney. It's not at the poles. It's not at the periphery. The nephrometry score is very high. Uh, it's attached. It's very adherent to the aorta, renal vessels, and the renal pelvis. It's dam in the center of the kidney. Naturally, any surgeon would think to do a radical nephrectomy in this patient because that is much more easier to do because you just have to ligate the renal artery and the renal vein and the tumor along with the kidney comes out. It's much simpler. But nowadays, the global standard is to do a nephron sparing surgery. However, doing a nephron sparing surgery at the poles or at the periphery of the kidney is very easy. Doing it in the center of the kidney is extremely rare and extremely difficult. Very few centers in the world do this. Uh, as you can see in the images, the surgery is very difficult to achieve. But what we thought, what I thought was that okay, this is an elderly gentleman. If I remove his both his kidneys, then he will definitely go on to dialysis. Once a patient goes on to dialysis, quality of life decreases. He'll be doing dialysis three times a week and uh, uh, unfortunately, the patient will uh, pass away in a few years, five years or so, uh, just because of the dialysis and other things. And the patient is also very non-affording and all. The quality of life is very poor. It's very tedious and uh, very challenging to the family also when a patient is having such a disease. And the surgery, radical nephrectomy also has got its own complications. Uh, the problem so we thought uh, he, we will remove only the tumors and we will remove only the tumors with a good margin and uh, this partial nephrectomy additionally apart from the risks of surgery due to radical nephrectomy has additional risks like bleeding like uronoma formation like residual disease may remain behind and uh, the tumor uh, may come up back again and all those things are uh, additional risk factors to a partial nephrectomy in this particular case, it's highly unlikely that uh, any oncosurgeon would prefer to do a partial nephrectomy in this patient. And uh, uh, rightly so. And so also he was advised a radical nephrectomy, that is removal completely of the kidney and the tumor. However, we did very fine dissection in this patient. As you can see the intraoperative images and the postoperative images also. Intraoperative images uh, also. Uh, during the surgery, meticulously, uh, we clamped the artery and the vein first and dissected out the tumor from the surrounding kidney with a good margin. We sent additional margins also. Each and every tiny segmental artery of the kidney was preserved and uh, the tumor was removed. This everything has to be done. Once the clamp is applied, that is the ischemia of the kidney is achieved. That is when the artery and the vein are clamped and we start the dissection. We have to finish this dissection within half an hour and then close the kidney also. And all these small, small arteries, they are very high pressure arteries. It's not a single artery and single vein like in radical nephrotomy. There are multiple hundreds of them and many of them are microscopic and they are very high pressure arteries. So they may bleed. So we have to achieve all the hemostasis, remove the tumor with complete clearance, achieve complete hemostasis and close the kidney and we have to ensure that no disease remains behind and we have to ensure 
that whatever the remaining kidney it has got good vascular so that it survives otherwise there will be necrosis and hemorrhage and there will be sepsis and other things we also have to ensure that the pelvic tilt system is closed properly otherwise there will be urine leak and urine mo formation these are all very difficult things to achieve okay but we uh, i have personal experience of doing such cases and we have a very excellent team at terna and we managed to do this very nicely we had complete clearance of this disease without removing the kidney of the patient okay the margins are absolutely negative post operatively we did uh, a doctor study of the kidney the kidney function is fantastic there is there was not even 1 ml of collection and the patient's creatinine now is only 0.6 patient is walking around freely free of the tumor free of the disease and without any renal dysfunction a creatinine of 0.6 with such huge tumors with such a difficultly located tumors this is a massive and a very great achievement uh, i would say and that too in a patient who was very non affording and very poor we managed to achieve this and i am very thankful to tenna hospital and the administration that they bore the entire cost of this surgery themselves the hospital bore the cost of this surgery and uh, we did not ask a single rupee to this patient so this is a great opportunity for all the people all around the world if the motto the aim of their hospital is to provide affordable treatment and a very advanced kind of treatment and it is not just uh, speech but in action also their hospital is doing that and it is providing very advanced and very affordable treatment to all the patients so uh, this is a very in- interesting very important case study and uh, hopefully we would be doing such and much more difficult cases and for the benefit of the society thank you